I'm Jennifer Angel, this is Stars Scorpio. Now this full month's full moon is in your sign and it's an eclipse. It's at the end of the month on the 25th rather. So it's a time of high energy. Now a full moon itself is to signify endings and beginnings. So there's like a new pathway opening up. It gives you a chance to really have some closure in your life with anything that hasn't been coming together or you know sometimes we just uh, need to move on from people, things, situations in our life and it's not for any other reason than you're, with, you're both evolving, growing and now going in separate direct directions. So if that's happening in your life then you know wish the other person well. Uh, sometimes you know people come into our life for all sorts of reasons some people are there for a lifetime some people are there just to help us through a period in our life other people are, are, are there um, you know for a specific time so um, you know try to view this time as a, cl as a closure and closing off to th things that are not working or no longer serving you and be open to moving forward. Now career and money. So Venus and Mars are in your sixth house. Very good connections here. It gives you a very good call to action. Um, it does tempt you to overwork. This is the area of work. You need to get routines together and systems. Um, and it's important not to try and push it too much because what can happen when there's activity in your sixth house is that particularly with Mars because Mars gives you the incentive the motivation and the will just the you know that sheer determination just to move forward and you know get done what you've got in your heart and your mind and your dreams um, by in doing that everything else can tend to fall slip to the bottom of that list and you're starting early finishing late uh, nobody gets their time with um, their lovely Scorpio friend, lover or partner and um, you work yourself into uh, you know burnout phase so try not to do that to be forewarned it's always a good thing and um, it's good to try and certainly keep doing what you need to do but recognize when your body needs to have a little bit of you time and some rest and relaxation and that's all about listening to your body and knowing yourself okay and sometimes you just have to stop and reflect and just um, see where you're at and pay attention. Now love and romance. Um, so Venus and Mars are going to be transiting to your seventh house on the 15th for Venus, the 20th for Mars. So they're going to move out of that work area and transit into your seventh house, all to do with love, romance, partnerships, relationships. So early in the month is a time while these planets are still in your sixth house is, is a good time for you to also look into your overall image. So as I said, this area is to do with your work, health, and it's also with Venus there. It's a great time to have a personal sort of image overhaul. And if you're on the dating scene and you're looking for love, then you want to make sure that you're projecting the image that the type of person you want to attract will also be attracted to so it needs to go both ways. Now my angel advice for the month is look within for your answers. Um, you can certainly see what other people are doing but what you feel is right for you is more important so you want to set your own benchmark Scorpio. Okay, I'm Jennifer Angel, thanks for watching, bye for now.